These five virtual reality apps are gonna change how we learn languages forever. Language immersion, where you go to another country and surround yourself completely with the language, is always talked about as one of the fastest and most fun ways to learn a new language. But it's also expensive to buy a flight and go live in another country. Show me the money! So what if you could instead bring the immersion to you? Well, I bought five of the top VR language apps so you don't have to. And today we're gonna break down their strengths flaws and which one is right for you, starting with Language Lab. Language Lab is a VR app that focuses on learning vocabulary through games and repetition. It's available in about 14 languages and it's up for download in the Quest store. But how does Language Lab work? Language Lab mainly focuses on vocabulary learning in context. That means you'll learn a lot of new words directly in the context in which you'd use them. For example, if you want to know the name of sports equipment in your target language, Language Lab would surround you with a real sports field and teach you vocabulary about basketball for example, by having you throw a real basketball around. First, you select the language that you speak and the language you're trying to learn. Then you choose a lesson and dive in. You'll enter a new immersive space with different related objects. So in this lesson, I'm in a kitchen learning the names of kitchen equipment through repetition with this robot. Pongo la cuchara en la taza. Taza. Cuchara. Another cool aspect of Language Lab is its immersive worlds. They have these open worlds that let you walk around through places like a city, restaurant, gym, and rooms in a house. And you can point to things that you see around you to learn the vocabulary for those objects in context. So here, I'm walking around a fast food restaurant and picking up objects around the room to learn their names. Costillas, panqueques, caja de salsas. And here, I'm in a gym getting to learn and review the names of different gym equipment in Spanish so that I can be ready for a multilingual workout. Rueda para abdominales. Pelota de pelatis. Besides the lessons and open vocabulary world, Language Lab has three games to test your comprehension, starting with Ultimate Ascent. This is a climbing game in which you have to climb an invisible ladder by touching the object that the speaker mentions in order to move higher. If you touch the wrong one, you'll lose and have to start over. Libro. Ropa. 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 Mesa. Mesa. The second game is Hot Shot. Here, you're given a laser gun to shoot at the items that the speaker mentions, and each level gets harder to help you learn more words. Almohada. Mesa. Manta. Cama. And the last game is Sabers, where two objects will move towards you, and you have to slash the object that the speaker announces in order to win points. Avión. Camión de helados. These games are personally my favorite parts of Language Lab, and they're a good way to practice vocabulary in a fun and lighthearted way. So Language Lab has a few elements of gamification to help you learn vocabulary while enjoying yourself, but what are the flaws? One of the first big red flags is that Language Lab doesn't help you practice speaking. So while you can use it to pick up new words, Language Lab won't be enough to get you fluent in the language because you won't get to practice speaking. Actually, you won't really get to practice grammar either. So besides a few select vocabulary words, I don't think you'll learn a ton more from Language Lab. Another flag is that the sentences Language Lab gives you sometimes just don't make logical sense. Put the cutting board in, in the pan. Tabla de cortar. So strange. <laughs> So while it's nice to learn the names of objects, I wouldn't depend on Language Lab to always teach me new phrases that make sense. I've even found a few wrong pronunciations on the app. Tomate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is tomate, not tomate. So Language Lab is a good start for basic vocab, but it quickly becomes limited without the possibility of practicing speaking, which is where the second VR app comes in. Mondly VR is a language app that's available in the Quest Store and offers about 30 languages. Mondly focuses on learning through short, pre-recorded, engaging lessons and speaking exercises in immersive environments. But how does Monly work? First, it's important to know that Monly's focus is both on vocabulary and conversation. So you'll be learning words like in Language Lab, but you'll also be practicing speaking through the app's various modes. Once you log into the app, choose the language you speak and the one you want to learn, and then you can jump into their main modes. The core feature is the immersive conversation scenarios. Here, you'll get to do a full role-playing simulation of a traveler in a new country, and the scenario will help you practice listening and speaking as you take a taxi, ride the train, 
check into a hotel, and more. You can get helpful hints of what to say along the way or turn Monly to advanced mode to turn the hints off and go completely off the cuff. Bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Muy bien, gracias. Es un placer. ¿De dónde es? I really like that Monly makes the responses flexible, so you can get away with expressing yourself a bit instead of always strictly following the response options that they give you. Nosotros llegamos. Es la calle más segura de la ciudad. En total son 20, por favor. Gracias, aquí lo tienen. Modly also has their immersive vocabulary mode, which helps you learn vocabulary for different topics while you're surrounded by an immersive virtual world, like learning about the solar system while you see the galaxy all around you, or learning about animals as you watch a giant elephant eat, an eagle soar overhead, or a crocodile snap fear right into your heart. This is Mars. If you want to say Mars, you say Marte. Marte. That's correct. Next, there's the extensive learning mode where you get to go deep on a topic like airport travel or places to go on dates, and you get to focus in to learn a bunch of new words and phrases about that topic. And there's a nice plus in that the words and phrases they teach you are repeated slowly to help you better catch the pronunciations. And you'll see that there are tons of lessons here in this mode to help you go deep on niche vocabulary. How do you say, where is the international terminal? ¿Dónde está la terminal internacional? ¿Dónde está la terminal internacional? What about? Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Lastly, there's the daily lesson mode. Each day, Monly preps a quick lesson for you to practice the words you've learned while using the app, and this is a good way to refresh all the vocab you've seen. Monly is big on consistent practice every day, so this is a good push to make small progress daily, and there's also a leaderboard to motivate learners through some healthy competition. Overall, I have to say that Monly is a pretty solid app for language learners to practice beginner and intermediate speaking and vocabulary. But what are its downsides? First off, there's not a big grammar component of Monly. While you'll get to practice speaking and learning new words, you won't really get grammar concept explanations, so you'll likely have to turn off the app and go find these outside of Modly on your quest to fluency. The voices can also feel robotic at times, even to the point of messing up the pronunciations of certain words, like incorrectly saying gato instead of gato for cat in Spanish. A cat is called un gato. Now, could you repeat after me? Un gato. Un gato. I didn't find a lot of these mistakes, but I did find a couple, which makes it hard for me to blindly trust Monly's pronunciations for languages that I don't know well. So I might recommend validating pronunciations whenever you can just to be safe. And then, Monly isn't free. You'll have to pay about $15 to buy it. But as you go through Monly, you might find yourself wanting a more gamified version of language immersion, which is where Noun comes in. Noun is another powerful language VR app that helps you learn vocabulary, but with a twist. Noun is essentially a big language adventure game where you play a character that finds themselves stranded on a gray island with no color. And the only way to bring color back to the town is to finish challenges, play games, talk to characters, and progress to learn new words in one of the seven languages offered. You basically have to explore the town, learn the names of objects in your target language, and as you learn them, these objects will start to regain their color. La comida occidental. La comida occidental. It's actually really motivating to see how the whole town changes and starts to gain color as a result of your learning. And anyone that's a fan of adventure games will probably be a big fan of this learning style. As with Language Lab and Mondly, Noun tries to immerse you into common scenarios that you might find in your daily life, like spending time at a cafe or in a kitchen. The main learning happens in Noun learning spaces, where you visit one of the various rooms in the game's map. Each room has a bunch of objects that you can point to, and the game will tell you that object's name in your target language. There's also a kiosk that will help you focus on learning just a few words at a time, and you learn a word by picking up that object, listening to the word, and then repeating the name back with correct pronunciation, which will give the object color. And after you finish learning some words in a room, you'll get quizzed on those words to help them stick. You'll also start to unlock language lessons in each room. These lessons will usually trigger a dialogue between village characters where you'll get to go from just learning vocabulary in Noun to now learning full sentences along with grammar tips along the way. You'll get to spend time listening to the characters having a conversation, and then you'll get to join the dialogue yourself. And finally, you'll close by taking a quiz to test your knowledge. Entonces, ¿qué? 
comes? Compro carne o pescado en el restaurante universitario. Nowtown also has a bunch of language games that you start to unlock as you learn more and more words. And these games help you reinforce the words that you know. This one is a fun game where villagers come up to you asking you for an object and you have to quickly find that object before the clock runs out. La miel. There are also games that you can unlock on the island, like this game where you'll get to play whack-a-mole to practice vocabulary. El horno. One more great feature to keep in mind is the spaced repetition machine that will help you review every word you've ever learned in Nowntown through spaced repetition until you've mastered the vocab fully and can remember a word 30 days after learning it. Overall, with its series of games, characters, and new worlds to unlock, and maybe more than a thousand vocabulary for each language, Nowntown does have a lot to offer. But there are some key downsides. First, it's not free you'll have to pay about $20 to buy it. And second, there's a limited set of languages you can learn with Nowntown. Right now, it's only Japanese, Korean, German, Spanish, French, Italian, and English. So it covers some popular languages, but the list is still short. I also found some slight translation flaws, like translating restaurante to canteen, which isn't a grave error. Compro carne o pescado en el restaurante universitario but I'd recommend to gut check what you learn on Nowntown with a language teacher whenever you can. If you find yourself enjoying the speaking aspect of Nowntown, but want something a little less gamified and more realistic, and something that goes deeper into harder Spanish, you might be a big fan of Immerse Me. Immerse Me is available in about 12 popular languages, and it tries to give you a fully immersive, lifelike language experience. You can just slip on your VR headset and be transported to Spain, where you'll play the part of a lost tourist asking for directions, or you'll find yourself in another scenario, like in a bakery ordering bread. Te voy a poner los... Eh, palitos de queso de oveja, que también están muy buenos, y bueno, esta te vale eh, 8.50 el cuarto. Immerse Me's conversations range from simple topics like asking how to get somewhere, to harder ones like talking about environmental pollution. And if these topics sound too difficult, don't worry, because Immerse Me guides you through the conversations with scripted responses that you can use. But how does this all work? Well, once you log into ImmerseMe.co, you get to choose the language that you want to learn, and then you can browse through to find a conversation topic that you're interested in that also at your difficulty level. So here we are practicing ordering food at a cafe in Spanish. The character interacts with you and you're given various possible answers to choose from to continue the conversation. Me gustaría un bocadillo de jamón serrano con lechuga y tomate, por favor. Tienes este, que es jamón serrano con eh, lechuga y tomate. Gracias. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Vale, pues eh, serían 2.80. Pues aquí tienes. Gracias. Hasta luego. No rush, no pressure. This is one of the reasons why Immerse Me is such a powerful learning tool, because you can take as much time as you need to build your confidence and answer. Another nice thing about this setup is the choose your own adventure model. You get to choose different paths as you go through a conversation, and each answer affects how the other person will respond to you. For each Immerse Me lesson, learners get to progress through five learning modes. In pronunciation mode, you're focused on choosing and saying an answer using the correct pronunciation like we just saw. In typing mode, you're writing out the answers to get comfortable writing in your target language. In spelling mode, you're listening to the speaker and then trying to spell out what they said to further practice your listening and writing skills. In translation mode, the app feeds you a response in the language you know, and your job is to translate it to your target language as best you can. And in immersion mode, no help is given to you, and you have to respond to continue the conversation without any assistance. There is also a bonus new mode where you get to practice vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation, all in a special new style for select lessons in a series where you get to play a person living with a host family in Colombia. Overall, Immerse Me offers a pretty unique language learning experience, and you also get scripts and worksheets that you can save from the lesson to maybe review with a teacher. Also important to mention, a big strength of Immerse Me is that it gets really advanced and lets you practice conversations that are quite complex. In this scenario, for example, I'm talking about environmental pollution with the character, which is not an easy conversation. Now on to Immerse Me's flaws. First, the conversations are relatively fixed. You can change a word here or there in the dialogues, but you can't really give your own creative answers. You'll have to use the pre-written scripts from Immerse Me in the conversations. Also, this app is not free and it'll be a sizable investment, coming to about $60 a month or $300 a year. The app is more meant for institutions, so that's why the price is a lot larger. And another flaw that Immerse Me shares with all the other apps mentioned so far 
is that it can be a pretty isolating experience. And that's because there's no social component, which is where Immerse comes in. Immerse is our fifth language VR app, and it's the only one in our list with instructor-led classes. In many ways, Immerse combines the best features of all the apps we've seen so far and puts them into a solid language immersion experience. You'll get to explore many real life scenarios to practice speaking and improve your fluency, all while using avatars to reduce fears you might have about making mistakes in your new language. And you'll get to do all this in a collaborative environment with real teachers and students. To jump in, you'll first choose your known and target language, go through the tutorial, and then you can start using the app's four core features, starting with instructor-led classes. Unlike the other apps we've seen, the lessons from Immerse aren't with in-game characters. They're with real language teachers. That means you're getting real language lessons from trained teachers. And there are tons of different classes every day covering a bunch of topics. From ordering at a restaurant, to cooking, to hanging out at a comedy club, to house hunting, and more. Classes are also with other students. So this social component is a nice way to build community while you make progress towards your language goals. Having real people also means that you're not limited to fixed answers from a script. You can dynamically talk to the people in your classes and let the conversation take you where it leads. Con la... Okay, sí. Con el cuchillo. Uh, oh, gracias, <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Immerse's second core feature is its common square with language games. You can get a group together or go solo to play a pickup game of archery, language pictionary, name that object, and more to practice vocabulary in a fun way. When you finish with the games, you can pick up more conversation practice in Immerse's conversation events where you can jump in and talk to other people, all while there's a language teacher there to spark conversations and practice with you if you'd like. In los estadios de fútbol, hay miles, miles de tacos de canasta. Finally, there's the AI practice mode where you can take a break from the social features to practice conversations with AI about a wide range of topics. There are a bunch of AI pre-programmed to talk to you about topics like being on vacation, ordering food at a restaurant, going out to a nightclub, and many more. And you can take conversations in different directions to see how the AI respond to you. Perfecto. Entonces, nos vemos esta noche en la discoteca. Genial. Nos vemos esta noche en la discoteca. Será una noche divertida. So overall, with a good focus on conversation practice, vocabulary learning, real instructor-led classes, and a social community, Immerse is very solid for language learners, but here are a few of its downsides. First up, Immerse is only available in three languages as of now, English, Spanish, and French. And while the community is growing, if you log on late at night or at non-busy parts of the day, you might find there are not many other students in your class or in the comments playing games. You'll also need to pay for Immerse, and it's the second most expensive in our list, coming at $25 to $35 a month. So each of these VR apps has its own specialty, and to find out the one that's right for you, you'll have to think about what you want to practice and your budget. If you only want a free app, you should try Language Lab. If you want to practice speaking and learning vocabulary, then consider Mondly if you're more about a simple and straight to the point language app, or try Nowntown if you want a gamified big world adventure. If you prefer a real lifelike immersion experience focused on speaking, then try Immerse Me. And if you want to do a bit of all of these, but also include a social component to talk to other people or freestyle with AI, then Immerse is likely your go-to. To learn more about Immerse, I did a video breaking down all the platform's features, including ways to use it without a headset. So I'll see you there and hasta la próxima.